Warning, graphic pest control video ahead. Do not watch if you might be offended. If, however, you really like watching pest control videos, then hello again and welcome to the Squirrel Hunter channel. Please continue and watch us as we control pest populations with silenced air rifles here in the UK. If you have any questions, can you please check the description below first to see if it's already been answered and for some useful links. Thank you. We're both out tonight to our favourite rapper mission, the poultry farm. This is Bro with his Air Arms S410 in 2.2 calibre shooting Webby power pals. The NS50 on top doing the night vision duties. He's put a bit of red plastic over the front of the screen to dim it down from lighting his face up. Bit of a giveaway to some of the rats and rabbits about. That seems to do a very good job casting a nice red light on his face instead of a normal white one. As you can see, some of this footage I shot of him at the other end of the field. You can see it dims down the light off that screen quite a lot. There he is, taking some shots over the fence with a few rats under some structure. And here he is lining up his first rat of the evening. Good body shot that, so the pellets went straight through and ricocheted off the metal behind. Bit of helicopter tail. He scans back over to the pallets and back again. There's an OG neighbour come out. Gets a shot to the top of the head. A few lazy kicks. He reloads. That's all over for that one. Scans back and sticks another one sticking his head out. Another body shot. Nothing wrong with that. It's all over for that one as well. Not a bad start to the evening. Chances are we're looking around some more. We've gone for a wander, some heads popping out like whack a mole out the ground. He's attempted to whack a rat. I do believe he's missed that one. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. It's always going to be a headshot when there's just a head showing. There's a few moving tonight. Bit of a breeze. You can see them all over the place. Just got to get them to sit still so you can take a shot. A bit like that, really. Straight through his canister, to quote Paul Farley of KPS Hunters. Canister, incidentally, is another word for head, apparently. That pellet's gone straight through his and dug the grass up behind. He continues to scan. He's missed that one. You can see the eye shine in the darkness. It's a bit easier with a big screen to see it when you're looking at a tiny screen, especially when you've got a bit of red plastic over the front. He still missed it on the way back. So he moves on and spots this one. Just got to stick its head up like that. Too slow. Didn't give him a lot of time anyway. You can always find one to sat still. And that one wasn't a really good shot. It does happen. Quite clearly and well. It sticks another one into his body. Sometimes you have to follow up shot. When necessary. That clearly wasn't a clean head shot. Back to the favourite pallets. That one's gone down the side of the head into the body. So he lines up for a second shot. That one went over the top. He had to go over and finish that one off. Turn trader, it's action down the side. You usually go between that trader into that shed with the chickens in. These two might be coming out. They look like they've ducked down into the upturn trader. So he tries to anticipate it and no joy. So he goes for another wander, catches that one square in the head under a bit of a shed. No back leg movement this time, just a thrash of a tail. Front end all floppy. Good head shot. A few poultry wandering around. Chicken must be wondering what's going on. Well, that tail flapping. Here's another one. He missed it. He jumps up to wonder what happened and then runs off. One looking straight at him. Can't miss that impact. And that was dead in the hole. Not far away, he spots another bit of movement. That one gets away. On its nightly mooch. Back to the favourite pallets again. Another good straight on head shot. 
You can still see the corpse from last time underneath. Bro tends to shoot a few, then go on a pickup mission, or I tend to pick up straight away. Sometimes I don't, just so I don't disturb the rats. It's hard to know what the best way is sometimes. He spotted this one on the roof, believe it or not. Quick scan up there. You see it wandering around. I'm trying to work out where the front end is. Looks like there's a bit of debris in the way. He's playing with the IR. The rat's moved around now. He's managed to hit it with a good shot there. Tail's thrashing around. It's dead in the gutter. Sometimes you can't retrieve them. Just checking out there that the tail's making the right movements. I'm talking of movement. There's quite a lot of rat movement. No shot on for this one. Got to catch them out a bit. Do wonder what they're feeding on sometimes. That one got fed a bit of lead. It's almost like they eat the grass. Maybe it's the moisture, I don't know. Nothing with that shot. And a rat down. Nice bit of structure. With the head poking up. Bro's taken the shot. I do believe he's missed it. They seem to like it over there. And characteristic miss. He's reloaded again. Take a second stab at it, then dry fires. It's quite frustrating when that happens. He's got to load another mag, and he's moved sideways, and there's still a rat there. Third time lucky. Nothing wrong with that one. Straight on headshot. And it managed to crawl out. And that's as far as it gets. No need for a second on that. Looks like he's shooting a bit of range this time. There's another tempter, another eye sticking a bit of a hole. Hard to tell if he got that one or not as well. I think he's moved in closer now. Obviously he realised the range is a bit too far. Straight in the middle of the chest. Quite clearly own well rat. Here's another one a bit more distance again. Let's call that just beyond the head. That's dead in the grass. I do prefer the grass and the bushes and any sort of structure. I tend to travel in runs. You can very often spot these in the daylight areas and work out where they'll be moving the most. On this occasion, Bro just scanning with the NS50, looking for likely targets. There's one, there's bound to be more. You can see the eyes in the hedge there. They're dug in quite heavily in there. Very difficult to get them out. You've got to wait till they come out, and then do that to them. Not a bad shot that pro. Oh, I didn't move off that one. Of course, you get them wandering around in the chicken pens. Quite a few of them got under the sheds. Here's some rabbits up the field. Bro's not about to shoot at them, a bit too far away, he's just filming them this time. Got no need or want to eat one. So they're going to get left alone today. Quite a way up the field. He's after rats tonight and rats only. Here's another one hasn't spotted him. You hear that noise there by the way it turned his head. He hasn't even managed to cock the rifle. That's all right. Much that one. It's 
friends having a drink by the look of it. Caught it away. She's trying to stick a pellet in his armpit. Splash that one into the puddle. Quick scan of bait. Here's that shot again. There's a pellet leaving the rifle. It's on route. Just about to hit it. It's quartering away. That's going to go up through its vital organs. That was dead in the puddle. Into the sheds now. We're often get lucky with them sticking their head out. Slow bit of a helicopter tail there. That was a good shot. And that was his last rat of the evening. And over to me now. I'm using my BSA. R10 Mark II in 22 caliber. I'm launching my favorite ratting pellet, the Super Hollow Point. Does a good job on the rats, that. I'm using the Sniper Cam on the MTC Taipan 6 24 by 56 scope. There's a torch factory IR torch on top of it for lighting. Here I am shining it into one of the sheds. See the livestock in there. You can hear the wind. It's blowing a bit out there. Been caught on the mic. You can see the shapes in the background. You can see plenty of rat activity there. The eyes and the bodies. So I decided to wander into the shed and I've panicked the ducks by my presence. I stood right against the door now. I'm trying to get a bit closer, get a better angle. So I'll be looking more down on them. Possibility of a shot, maybe. I'm going to spot these eyes in the corner. Just too many ducks, too close. Don't like that at all, really. My safety's on and the finger's off the trigger. I can soon remedy that. Just hope they accept me in a minute. Quick sniff there. Not the nicest smelling shed. If you've ever been around poultry, you'll know what I mean. If one of them stopped still, they'd be a good target. A bit too much wire there for my liking. Only one set of wire there, though. Need a good candidate. And they've all settled down now. I'm looking at this one, and he's moved his head up. I'm contemplating it. Let's have a better look at him, shall we? I'm just gotta focus it a bit better. There we go. Definitely a rat. I'm gonna line up on him and take the shot if he gives me one. Now the ducks are calmed down and sat still. Quite happy with that shot. Pell it when exactly where I wanted. Straight through the gap. Straight down into the body of that small rat. It kicks a bit in the hole. I can pretty much tell the shot was good. And not one duck moved. It's the beauty of a silenced air rifle. They certainly move when I went over to inspect the body and retrieve him. They all had a major panic attack. There he is, dead in the hole. Now I'm looking at another one. A different place. Line up on him. Quite happy with the impact there. Echoing inside the shed. No second shot was needed. Straight on face shot. Pellet's gone dead into the body. This one might kick a little bit. He drops in the hole. Bit of helicopter tail. And that's the end of him. And there he is. I fetch him out of the hole and deposit him with the others. Super highway now. So recognise the holes. Straight in the side of the headshot. Good place to aim on a side headshot. It's dead on like that. It's either into the ear hole or halfway up the ear. Maybe even the front edge. Seems to be quite effective. Plays with probability. The pellet wanders off a bit. you still strike it in the brain. Those eyes up there to the left of chickens roosting. Quickly zoom back in. Not a lot of movement off that one. It looks like the pellet's taken a deflection by that exit wound. I'm off for a wander again now. Spot this one by the hedge. Nice crack of pellet on skull. That was a little bit of a kick. Comes to rest there. I'm quite happy with that shot. 
back the zoom back off a bit, just in case I pick up another one. I made quite a mess of the head on that one. You can see the blood where I initially hit him. I do bleed out quite quickly. And I spot this one having a drink and line up on him. He's off. No, wait, he stopped. And he's off again. Rather annoying that. This seems to be a good spot. So it pays to hang around a bit. Size everywhere. There's some sort of rat game going on there. Let's start to line up on this one. Get him straight in the top of the head. He's kicking around in the grass. Another eye sticking out. They feel safe in their holes. They tend to stick their head out just for a nose about. So I learn up a him. I do believe I missed that one. Another one running for his life. Nothing to do with me, maybe it's bro. There's a dry fire. So that's one all tonight. Me panicking. Trying to find one of my spare mags. I've always got a spare mag, at least one. Fumbling it into the breach. I miss. So I'm as good as bro tonight. Two sets of wire then. Catch that one right in the top of the head. There's a bit of a bowl about. The activity's brought another rat over. Frightened him to death. He's run off. The super hollow points doing the business yet again. The medium sized rat. See the life start getting the hedge. Make sure you ID it before you shoot an eye. Come back to the sheds again. The trouble the way these sheds are. And these rats get in the back. And you can't get at them. Some pretty big ones in there. There's only one set of wire. One sits up, I'll get a shot. I stayed there for a while looking. Some quite large rats. Taking the mickey a bit. I have to think of a way of getting at them. We're not going to get them tonight. It's an obvious one. A good solid headshot there. And dropped him straight to the ground whilst he's having the cheeky drink at one of the feeders. Always pays to watch them just in case they do move. All we get at this is a standard bit of helicopter tail. A bit of back leg kicking. So back off out again. You get rats in that back corner sometimes. I'm looking for another one. If it's not to be, that's where all the chickens were roosting. That's where I shot him in that particular shed. And there he is, bleeding out into the wet ground under the water feeder. I spot this one in one of the pens. Knock it over. Doesn't hardly move that one. Didn't hardly bleed either by the look of it. But nonetheless dead. And I spot a rabbit in the bushes. The trouble these bushes, they're quite thick. It's very difficult to get into there. I didn't realise it at the time. I'm going to start to track this small one. So I fancied eating one. Not a massive one. Be quite tender. I'm going to catch it with a straight on headshot. That's a few kicks. But rather annoyingly, with its last few kicks, it's managed to drop down a very, very big rabbit hole on the back. There's no way I could get at it with my grabber. You see the blood trail down into the hole, which almost went vertically. But we had a few rats, and these are the ones we could retrieve. But maybe we'll have to come again all the sooner, eh? Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.